Hi, I'm Mark Delarier, and I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect omelet. What I'm going to use is a no-stick no skillet. Normally, in older times, people would use French omelet pans. And nowadays, most people aren't used to working with these, and the problem is, these pans are designed to hold really good heat, and you put a good amount of oil and butter in the pan, and it forms a thin layer when it's hot between the eggs and the bottom of the skillet. Therefore, they don't stick. But uh, unless you're used to working with these, it's really difficult to use. And I'm sure most people have a common non-stick skillet at home, so that's what we're going to work with. I've had this with a little oil in it getting hot. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit more while I'm getting the eggs ready. We'll do a three egg omelet. And I'm not going to put a filling in this, but you could do cheese, mushrooms, onions, peppers, bacon, really anything that you'd want. You want to get the eggs good and mixed. Some people add milk to the eggs. Uh, I prefer not to do that uh, because the milk has a high sugar content and that tends to caramelize and browns the omelet. Little olive oil in the pan and a little butter. And having the oil will help keep the butter from burning. You want to get the edges of the pan good and buttered. And we'll add our eggs. And while they're cooking, what you want to use is a silicon spatula. As opposed to a rubber spatula, this will take high heat and it won't melt. It also uh, prevents your pan from scratching. But I've got the heat on medium right now so it's not cooking too fast. While it's cooking, you want to take the omelet and move the edges in and swirl the egg around, pulling the edges in towards the middle. That way you're cooking a good part of the egg without letting the rest of it get really brown. So you just keep going around like that while the pan is hot. And once it won't swirl anymore, I have the broiler on in the oven. The reason I'm doing this, putting it in under the broiler, it's going to cook the rest of the way through, and if you put any other ingredients on it, such as cheese or any vegetables or meats, it'll warm that up. And this way the bottom isn't cooking right away, so you're not browning the omelet. Because traditionally omelets should be served where they're nice and pale, and you don't get the, uh, the flesh of the egg browned. Okay, as you can see, the omelet's also puffed up a little bit. What we want to do with this is we'll fold one edge over. You pour it halfway onto the plate and then flip the rest over and you have a perfect omelet.